Hey everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable video. Don't mind my makeup today. I was uh playing with some makeup. Okay, bestie, you want to know? I really was. All right. Anyway, all the leaves are pretty. Okay, anyways, today we have a fun video, but basically I will be showing you five different types of players during the Halloween update in Star Stable. Let me know which one you are, or if you're not on this list, or if you're more than one. The comments down below, bestie, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. This first person, I have nicknamed the costume designer because you guessed it, bestie. They will spend their entire day on Star Stable designing and creating very unique and lovely costume designs to show up. They'll usually have the perfect horse and not even a horse they need to train, just a horse that looks aesthetically pleasing with their outfit. And they love to come up with new and unique ideas for costumes that you normally don't see in Star Stable. And they're always very very fashionable so you can usually see them hanging out around Galloper's Keep or even Steve's farm showing off their new costume idea of the day. person is the quester because they log in quest and leave that they love to quest they they really do that's all i have to say about this next person I nicknamed the free items person. This person in Star Stable literally will do anything and everything in order to get free items, whether that is collecting all the soul shards to unlock the haunted trail ride for the two free raven pets. You know, the first day, the first week, they are working on that grind to get the raven pets. They are going to get it by the end of the update for sure. And they will do everything in their power that is necessary in order to get all of the free items that the cauldron provides or any of the free items that you actually have to work for. They are collecting them and they will get them all, especially before the event is over. This is their main goal. person is the limited edition horse collector. They will go and collect the Halloween magical horses, especially the new ones coming out. Now those clearly aren't in game yet. They're coming out this week. So any horse, just any limited time horse, they're there to collect them and probably not train them, but display them in their home stable. So six months from now, they can show off their limited edition horse or just because they collect them, you know, best you like.
this next one is the Soul Shard Collector. You can find this person logging off and relogging into Star Stable all the time, and you'll always find them logging in at the hour in order to collect Soul Shards. They may even go farther than collecting Soul Shards, the portals, and might start collecting them for other reasons like your big shillings, or even just having excess ones for next year because why not? They love collecting them and you will 100% find them there after school or later in the afternoon whenever they have time. Last but not least, we have the code lover. They log in, take the codes, and leave. Whether this be one day or for the entire update, they have the codes and they will log into Star Stable just for the codes. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching the Star Stable video. I currently have a free 500 Star Coins code giveaway on my channel. Be sure to go check that out if you haven't already and let me know which one you are of these people in the comments down below. Bye bye, spooky Halloween. Sp